If it's desired to use the RTF module to make distance to fault and distance to pin measurements, you want to take out the Kalis RTF module from its packing. The carrying case has the RTF module, in this particular case the RTF 1000A. It also has a series of cables. What we'll need in this particular case is the USB cable. When used with the IPA, the IPA comes with a second cable specifically designed to use with the RTF module. Take it from the bag, remove the covers from the connector ends and set them aside. And now we're ready to expose the output port, open the IPA port of the RTF module, place the unit on the IPA. Again, all the connectors are cleaned beforehand. If you're uncomfortable that they're clean, clean them again. Hand tight plus an eighth of a turn with a wrench will give us a good connection that we'll test during the dynamic test phase. If the connectors didn't seat properly, you may have a little bit more but once it seats, it's an eighth of a turn beyond that. At this point, we're going to remove the connector cover for the Type-N connector and also the cover for the Type-N connector on the cable. This cable provides power to the RTF module and also provides a reference frequency. Route the cable to the right side of the IPA where you open the cover and attach the connector to the RF aux port. The second cable is the USB cable on the left side of the IPA. You'll attach the USB type A connector and then the type B connector goes to the module itself. At this point you should notice on the IPA that the RTF has been identified, is connected, and the mode RTF is available for selection.